In today's video, we are talking about an insulated concrete foundation, or ICF for short, but it's not your typical ICF, which is usually made with polystyrene. This is a no polystyrene ICF, and it's our first time using this product. The team will share their experience using the forms and pouring the foundation. Hey, I'm Mitchell. Uh, so Nexum's been in the ICF industry for 30 years. Uh, they've created this really cool product that uses wood fiber uh, and bonded with Portland cement uh, to create a solid block uh, that produces no off gases or VOCs. So inside the cavity, we have a layer of mineral wool insulation and they've developed uh, different sizes of the block to suit your building needs. Our blocks here are 14 inches thick 12 inches high and 24 long. We have a five inches of insulation for a total of R28 and then five and a half inches uh, for the cavity where the concrete goes. Some other benefits include a four hour fire rating. It won't ignite, melt, or give off any smoke. And the mineral wool cavity on the inside is moisture and termite resistant as well as being non-combustible, which are all really great features for your wall to have. So in an ideal world uh, where your grade is done uh, and your footings are nice and level and even, you can place your skids uh, in the middle of your build building footprint uh, to make it easier to work. Uh, that was not our case where our bedrock is really uneven uh, and that meant that we had to put the skids uh, to the outside of the building footprint uh, over here by the driveway. So there was a bit more labor involved with placing the blocks, um, but I think the ease at which they are able to be stacked uh, made it still a really easy process. So normally what you would see is bracing to the inside with a catwalk constructed, uh, and that gives you your level surface to pour from. However, we thought it would save time and money uh, to backfill with gravel in advance of the pour since it already had to be filled and it gave us a level surface to pour from and it also allowed us to construct our beam on grade forms and pour those in the same visit from the concrete truck. So let's talk a little bit about the different uh, types of blocks. We've got the regular straights. Uh, we've also got inside and outside corners. Uh, the difference just being where the insulation layer is located uh, to eliminate that thermal bridging in the corners. And the other cool one is a uh, sort of just straight block that has a, a cap on the end with no rebar channel. And that allows you to do your door and window openings. So for anyone who's laid block before, a lot of the same building principles apply. Uh, what we did was we set up our corners, uh, built those up and then filled that in uh, with our straight pieces, uh, sort of checking level as we went uh, and using shims to sort of create uh, a level block at each row. Uh, you don't have to use mortar in between, but you do of course have to make sure that your joints aren't overlapping and, and where you do have a cut, just making sure that it fits good and is reinforced. Like, you know, we used a bit of plywood here and some spray foam just to sort of pre prevent a concrete run out and stabilizing it. The one nice thing about this material is that because it is a wood fiber, uh, you can just use a regular circular saw to cut it. Uh, in some cases, you know, we did have to use uh, uh, a sawzall to sort of help finish the cut out. It of course does have concrete in it and so you're going to get that uh, that silica dust build up so you know you want to make sure you're wearing your respirator as you do it but really it, uh, it, it, it cuts quite well. Even though the blocks are straight uh, you aren't of course limited to just using them in straight manners. Uh, for example I can show you this curved radius wall that we did uh, over here. So this curved wall uh, we created by taking straight blocks uh, and cutting them at a specific angle uh, to create a trapezoid that then built up the radius uh, that we needed. And then what we're going to do is we're going to parge this to create a smooth curve on the outside. So it's a great product to work with. I will say uh, the blocks themselves uh, are a bit heavier than ICF, of course, um, but lighter than your traditional concrete block. 
Um, and they are a, a little bit rough on the hands, so you know I recommend wearing some gloves. So with ICF in general, you're gonna be using less concrete, but with this product, you're not only using less concrete, you're also uh, using a product with a lower embodied carbon. And so to me, that offset uh, for the planet, uh, it offsets the extra square footage cost. Uh, plus it's really fun to work with. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like to get uh, more fill uh, of concrete uh, videos, you can uh, check out this one where we do a price comparison of an ICF versus a normal concrete pour. And of course, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.